Got home from a gun show this weekend, and I literally spent the time, about five hours, cleaning my bench. I am proud. Everything's organized, it's clean, I vacuumed it, I blew it off with air, I did this bench and that bench, and I'm adding more. But, G48 with TLR6, I don't think I've done a TLR6 on this channel before, we do them all the time, let's film it. I'm also going to show you what some people, holster manufacturers, don't realize. Glock 48. Glock 43X. Now, in the world of holster making, the Glock 43X will also do the 43. However, the 43 will not do the 43X. There's a slight difference in the trigger guard area, and that is the reason why I won't do it. Now, here's the cool thing. We all know the G19. And the G17, the only difference is the length, right? So we know that the holster for the 19 will fit the 17, but the 17 won't fit the 19 unless we cut the bottom. Now, the 43X will fit the 48, right? Cool. The only problem is you have to cut here to be able uh, to have the rest of the slide come out. Or you make the holster for the 48 you cut it for the length of the 43, then you have an open bottom. So keep that in mind, they do a lot. So 19, or so 17, 19, 21, 22, 32, 33, oh not 21, sorry, 22 and 23, the 21 is a 45. Uh, the 19 will also do the uh, 45 and the 44, will fit these as well. So again, 48 and 43X, they are the same frame wise, you just have to make sure you, uh, cut the muzzle but let's get into the holster it is so nice to have an organized bench again like i said i went ahead and i went through everything and i wanted to clean it up and i have some over here where i'm still working on it but laying out orders and doing everything i need to do so but this is nice it's gonna get dirty again but i try to clean it every friday and coming up i actually I got another flashlight, so this is the TLR3. We're going to be adding it to our list of flashlights. And if you haven't heard of Through Night, they actually sent me a flashlight. It's called the TW10. I have it right here. We're going to be doing a review on it. It's not going to be this video. It's going to be in an upcoming video because we're going to have some um, cool other toys in it to go with it. So stay tuned for that video. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'm going to be testing and beating up this flashlight to see how well it does. Um, it performs so keep that in mind but again let's get to the holster so again glock 48 with the uh, tlr6 um i don't remember like i said if i did a tlr6 holster in this um on this channel you know at least that has been a while so we're gonna do it now you know i have different thicknesses for all these that i like to use and this one we're going to use something that's pretty much just as wide as that now for this you could do one of two ways you could have it so all this is the retention where you know you have just a little bit but it's not the best or the craziest uh we're gonna do it right here is gonna be the retention you can see that it starts to boop, go down so we're gonna leave that for the retention now if you notice it's split apart a little bit right there but what i do is instead of cutting my mold i actually cut all the lights so i have all these cuts so i could fit them on my molds because i've found that if i cut the uh, trigger guard up eventually it just breaks off and then I'm out 60 bucks and now I'd buy another mold so let's get this all blocked up this is actually going to be a RTI so uh, lots of blocking lots of stuff to do so let's get to it again right here's the retention so this guy is literally just gonna boop, just like that and that's gonna be it on both sides but I'm gonna get the tape on up here first and we're going to put that right there and I'll, you'll see why in a little bit Oh, and if you're also wondering, the 48 
MOS, although it's the same size, it is uh, shaped differently in the frame. So in theory, I haven't confirmed this, but it should work. The 48 MOS should fit the 48, but the 48 should not fit the MOS because of the rail system. So when you get a 48 MOS, you will actually have to block right here. Otherwise, you'll have an absurd amount of retention. Just like the 43X MOS. You see, there's literally no difference other than the rail, and you'll have to block right here. But, all right, so let's get this going. Do this side. And we'll throw it. Should be good right about there. We'll go forward a little bit. The more you do this, the more you'll realize where exactly it goes. And you'll get more comfortable with it. I do a lot of TLR6s. And I got to tell you, when I first started doing holsters, I was like, yeah, sorry, I can't do that. And it was mainly because, well, I didn't have the necessary skills to do it. And then we'll go ahead, tape this down here. And like I said, tape the um, tape the flashlight if you don't want to scratch it. This is mine. I laser engrave them with what they are. This is actually a uh, a light, the TLR6 for the G42 and G43. And since we know the frame is the same, then we don't have to worry about that. I'll go ahead and go back on this side. Again, retention is right there. So you don't have to go all the way over. Just enough to expose where it's going. We'll do that. Right there. All right now, this needs this guy. We will need our blocking for the hood, our blocking for the RTI, and our blocking for the other side of the hood. And I will line this up to the back. So this is going to go roughly right here. Keep plenty of room to the top of the slide. And then anchor, anchor that in place. Okay, and then we'll figure out where we're throwing this guy, which I generally put right underneath it. And that's going right there. So what's nice about right-handed RTI, all the blocking is already there for the controls. So you don't have to worry about building anything up. Even light bearing too. Get that in there. And like I said, the flatter you lay the tape, the better your retention or not your attention, the better your definition will be. All right, now, what I'll do is we know the hole is right here. The pivot is directly on the other side. So we'll line it up so we know we need the mount right around there. So we could do that, which if we look at that, I'd want it to sit down more, otherwise we're gonna chop the top of that. So I'm gonna use a different mark and something, see that's just about as wide. See if we could find something in this plethora of blocking. Well, that's actually not that bad. Does that fit there? Yes, it does. All right, so we'll figure out where that's going. And then tape that in place. This is actually one of my blockings for the uh, adjustable cant on the IWB. All 
All right, and now the only thing left to do is retention plate. Um, so let me get that piece of wood and we have our fine tip Sharpie. So let's go. As you can see, I go through a lot of retention plates. Now every single one of these is for a different <laughs> variant of the firearm, you know, so MC1, yada, 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 but we got Poly 80, G17 with TLR1, uh, threaded barrel without threaded barrel, PL2, so the list just goes on and on. Glock 2021, G17 with Olight, so, yep, but I have to put them back up there, but I don't have this one, so let's make it. Line up your sight channel. And then draw the outline. So 48 TLR6. We'll cut it there. And finally, a day of look, sun. No rain. It rained this weekend. It rained at the gun show. It was partially sunny, but ah, oh, sun. Yay. Now I just have to chop some wood. Mm hmm. I'm really digging the way this came out. It looks really good. I'm looking forward to getting this all together. And once again, cleaning the bench. I think I'll definitely make that a habit. <laughs> Set up and break down every job now, just so I know. All right, so let's, you can see here, actually, we got the button area, no big deal. I'll probably take the heat gun and uh, bump that up a little bit, but it should have no effect on whether or not it's gonna turn on the uh, laser or the flashlight. But in a little indent there and a little indent there, that's literally all you need. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a retention point here and then one right up there. We might go in a little bit more actually, but this is going to come down. And then we're going to bust down like so. Put an angle there and then come up. And we'll line this up. So we're going to have to come down a little bit and then boop. So, that's a good spot. And then we'll bring this as close as we can to that. And do the RMR. So the chamber is, let's see here. Chamber to there. All right. So I'll drill these, drill these. Drill that mark, we save that one for later, and cut it out, so cue the music. do a little extra step here. I used to do it with color matched Kydex, but it is a lot easier to do it with clear. So I go ahead, put clear over it, and just punch the centers. And then drill that and cut it out to the shape. Get our no 
Yoga. This is the RC2000 deburring tool for getting in tight spaces. Phenomenal. We'll go ahead and clean this up just a little bit more. Get all our hardware on there. I've already wiped it down. So let's have some fun. I already went and grabbed everything I needed. We're going to take our tall half inch slotted posts, throw those in there. Then we go ahead and make this bracket. Throw that in. And then on top of the bracket, just to hold it in place, throw your 0.4375 rubber bushings. Now take your smaller. Let's see here, the smaller uh, threaded posts, throw those in. Those are for the, uh, the hood. Go ahead and take the smaller of the screws and get those in there. Helps if I have the right fitting on our drill here, or our screw gun rather. All right, tighten one, position it, and then tighten the other. Then the top one, you were gonna do by hand. You can do it with a drill too, but doing it by hand is safer. Just get it so it's just snug, but not loose, because you wanna be able to have that move. And if it's too tight, it will not move. Third one in there. And then get our screws. And what I do at this point is I level it off set the angle and I grab our spare and I throw that on to make sure it clears this guy. We'll go ahead get our retention set up in there and then I am going to check the retention. Ow. Of course, the end user can adjust it however they want. Go just a hair tighter. And then we'll put this down and we'll throw it down where it needs to go. And we'll drill that. Careful not to poke through the other side and then stab the kydex. Again with our Noga tool. And you got quarter inch, eighth inch, and then the supplied screw with the hood. Loosen it up a little bit. There we go. And then the Loctite, yeah, Loctite will set it. So, again, for the Glock 48, there we are. Enjoy.